Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Tardis and welcome to another Doctor Who themed unboxing video. Now today I've got something pretty special for you because this has been sent to me by Wizards of the Coast aka the Magic the Gathering team because they've recently just released a bunch of uh, booster sets and some variety packs of their Magic the Gathering collectible card game and competitive card game that has been tied into Doctor Who. Now I know absolutely nothing about Magic the Gathering, I've never played it before in my entire life but I have been following the development of the cards quite closely over the past few months and admiring the artwork, but from afar, which is why I was incredibly grateful when Wizards of the Coast got in touch with me and offered to send me a nice little gift. Now, I've not properly opened this, so I don't really know exactly what they've sent me. All I know is that it's very blue. Bits of blue uh, parcel protective paper, which is wonderfully uh, themed. It is TARDIS blue, and I'm sure the cats will really enjoy playing with that later. But let's unpack what we've got here. We have got uh, one of the many commander decks that you've got. This one here specifically is Doctors 12 to 13. There are other ones, ones which involve the classic series, one which involve the uh, villains and the monsters of the series, and one also uh, with some 9th, 10th, and 11th Doctor cards as well. And if we dive a little bit deeper into the parcel as well, we've got one of their collector boosters. Scratch that, we've actually got two of those collector boosters. So we'll be opening those up and the cats will have a field day playing with this TARDIS blue tinsel. So we'll put these collector boosters to one side, we'll open those last, but yeah, we've got a Magic the Gathering Universes Beyond Doctor Who Commander deck, contains Doctors 12 and 13. Paradox Power, this one is called. Brilliant, grab your companions and battle across the universe in Magic's definitive multiplayer format. Confound your foes with the Paradox mechanic, which rewards you for playing cards from unconventional places. With the help of the 13th Doctor, you can build up counters with every Paradox, untap your creature and power your engine for victory. The 13th Doctor approaches the universe with boundless curiosity and a zeal for life. Quick to make friends, she views her companions as family and can be fiercely protective of the defenseless and the downtrodden. Her eagerness to help can at times lead to more trouble, but she's always willing to put herself at risk to defend others. So this contains 100 card deck with 50 new cards, 10 plane chase cards, 10 double-sided token cards, planner die, I don't know what that is, Foil Etched Display Commander, Life Wheel, Trademark, Deck Box, Strategy Insert, and Reference Card. I have no idea what any of this is. Like I said, I have never played Magic the Gathering before, and I know nothing about it. But I am maybe tempted to get into it. I might have to pop into my local card shop and be like, Haha, fools, I'm going to create all of the paradoxes. You've activated my trap card. Right, so let us open this up. Here we go. Right. Let's open up those and pull these out. There we go. So what's in this little envelope here? Oh, so we've got a collector booster sample pack. You know, I'll open that at the same time as the other boosters. We've got the Doctor's Childhood Barn. This is a plain Gallifrey creatures enter the battlefield tapped. Like I said, I do not have an, I've not got a clue what this is. Is this like, uh, is this the setting? Is this like a, a field spell equivalent? I feel like learning Magic the Gathering through the course of an unboxing video is, <laughs> is not going to go particularly well for me. Oh, is this a deck box? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it even like folds in properly. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I'm going to latch this on my belt and put my deck in here and that's going to make me all of the new friends at the card shop. Oh, we've got a little Yasmin Khan uh, cardboard thing here that we can pull out very delicately. There we go. Um, oh, I don't know what I'm meant to do with it, but I'm, I'm happy I've got it. There's actually a few more of these things scattered around. There's uh, these tokens at the top. There's this uh, 13th Doctor artwork here. All these, oh, these as well. There's, there's quite a lot going on here. Um, I'll have to learn as I go. So slotted in here is presumably the 100 cards. In the front here, we've got the 13th Doctor, Legendary Creature, Time Lord Doctor. Paradox, whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Team TARDIS, at the beginning of your end step, untap each creature you control with a counter on it. I mean, it's no pot of greed, but I'll, I'll, I'll learn to play magic. Also included here is that we've got a die. I don't know what these symbols are. Presumably some strange alien language I've never learnt. We've also got a counter here that counts down from 20. 
Uh, oh, it's got another side. So this side counts from 40 to 21, and this side from 20 to 1. Uh, I'm presuming this is uh, part of the game itself. We've got this leaflet here, Paradox Power. Okay, folks, let's learn together. Typically in Magic, you play cards from your hand, but an average day with the Doctor is anything but typical. Enter Paradox. Paradox rewards you for casting spells from anywhere besides your hand. Graveyard, Exile, Top of Library, yes, yes, and yes. Oh, and the Command Zone too. Mechanics like Flashback and Rebound help you to do just that. The 13th Doctor and Yasmin Khan are a perfect duo. 13 gives creature counters when you cast a Paradox spell, then untaps creatures that have counters, while Yasmin taps to give you a card you can cast from exile. Brilliant. This deck is all about assembling an engine with a Paradox enabler, so use any early game draw and selection spells like Ponder to seek out whichever places you're missing. If all else fails, heavy hitters like Luna Hatchling and Flaming Tyrannosaurus help to close the the game out of context this is outstanding you start the game with 40 life okay i'm presuming that's what this counter is so this is like how you keep track of um of how many uh, how much life you've got left your commander starts in the command zone you can cast your commander from the command zone etc etc plane chase is a magic format where the battle moves across time and space before the game begins shuffle the oversized plane chase cards together into a planar deck during each player's turn the player may roll the planar die okay so that's what this is here if the planeswalk symbol is rolled they flip the top card of the planar deck face up replacing the current plane is it planar or planar if the chaos symbol is rolled chaos ensues look at the active planes chaos ability to see what happens players can roll additional times but each roll costs one more mana than they paid that turn for their previous roll magic colors we've got 13th doctor there yasmin khan there i think we should actually open Open up the cards themselves because even though i have no idea how to play magic the gathering i've been wanting to take a look at these cards because the artwork for them seems to be just uniformly gorgeous right let's open this paradox power deck up okay here we go get this wrapper out of the way Okay, so we've got a Learn to Play Magic card here, Popular Magic Format, Standard Booster Drafting Commander. Cool, right, let's take a look at the deck itself. Okay, we've got the 13th Doctor, Yasmin Khan, Psychic Paper, TARDIS, Sonic Screwdriver, Start the TARDIS, Surge of Brilliance, some Nikola Tesla stuff there, Iraxa, Empress of Mars, Memory Worm, Decaying Time Loop. See what I mean about the card artwork? This is just some gorgeous stuff inspired by Eve of the Daleks here. The Jarian Warriors, Truth or Consequences, Bigger on the Inside, Wreck and Rebuild, Arcane Signet, Soul Ring, Ponder, some Bill Potts there, Think Twice, Preordain, Throws of Chaos, Cultivate, Search for Tomorrow, Danny Pink, Osgood Operation Double, Twice Upon a Time, Become the Pilot, Quantum Misalignment, Nardole, the Resourceful Cyborg, Flatline, just one of the best episodes of the Capaldi era, Bill Potts, Into the Time Vortex, Dan Lewis, Flaming Tyrannosaurus, Ryan Sinclair, Don't You Dare, Return the Past, Impending Flux, The Flux, Sisterhood of Khan, Graham O'Brien, I like how he's described here as a legendary creature. Carvanista, Loyal Lupari, The Foretold Soldier, Fugitive of the Jadoon, River Song, Madame Vastra, Jenny Flint, Strax, Sontara Nurse, The Twelfth Doctor, Riding the Tank, Playing the Guitar, The Fugitive Doctor, Me, The Immortal, Frostfair Lurefish, Luna Hatchling, Heaven Sent, Last Night Together, there's the Towers of Derillium there, River Song's Diary, Confession Dial, Oswald, Chaos Warp, Cursed Mirror, Carpet of Flowers, Dream Root Cascade, I'm not even sure what this is from, I don't recall this one, but it looks gorgeous regardless. Oh, some of these even have quotes at the bottom as well. The Medusa Cascade, I came here when I was just a kid, 90 years old, from the Tenth Doctor. Temple of Mystery, Vine Glimmer Snarl, Waterlogged Grove, Desolate Lighthouse, Rockfall Vale, Rootbound Crag with uh, Hello Sweetie written by River Song in the Mountain. All we have to do is open the doors and read the very first words in recorded history. Temple of Abandon, Cinder Glade, Sheltered Thicket, Temple of Epiphany, Frostboil Snarl, Storm Carved Coast, Fiery Islet, Game Trail, Exotic Orchard, Gallifrey Council Chamber, Farseek, Beast Within, 
It took me a moment to clock what on earth that was, but it's one of those creatures from Can You Hear Me? Growth Spiral, Talisman of Curiosity, Talisman of Impulse, Rogue's Passage, Frontier Bivouac, or Bivouac, I have no idea what that means, Reliquary Tower, Myriad Landscape, Temple of the False God, Path of Ancestry, Command Tower, Ominous Cemetery, Island, Island, uh, lots of islands, lots of mountains as well, forests, I'm assuming for this is just pick whichever one that you like the most, really. The 13th Doctor, ooh, very shiny, ooh, and thick as well. We've got human, token creature, fish, clue, food, <laughs> I like it, that is Graham O'Brien's sandwich. Treasure, alien, that's the most adorable adipose I've ever seen. Alien Warrior, Alien Warrior, Copy, and another Alien Warrior. So that's all of the cards in the deck itself. We also have these planes as well. I'm going to open up this. Okay, so we have the Doctor's Childhood Barn, Storm Cage Containment Facility, the Drum Mining Facility, Singing Towers of Derillium. They're getting quite a bit of exposure in this set. Fixed point in time, some beautiful Face the Raven inspired artwork there. Besieged Viking Village, North Pole Research Base, Temple of Atropos, Kablam Warehouse, and the Dining Car. What I do like about this is that really no stone has been left unturned in terms of the 12th and 13th Doctor's era here. You know, Mummy from the Orient Express, Kablam, this is from Flux, this is from Last Christmas, this is from The Girl Who Died and The Woman Who Lived, Face the Raven, etc. Husbands of River Song. I don't remember what this is from, actually. You know, Storm Cage and the Doctor's Childhood Barn from Listen and In the Day of the Doctor as well. These are some really deep cuts into Doctor Who's uh, recent history, and it makes me wish that I was able to look at some of the other decks as well in this unboxing. But who knows what we'll get in these uh, sample packs as well. Let's take a look at this uh, collectible booster packet. Okay, let's open this up and see what we've got in here. So this is the sample one that came with the deck itself. So uh, Nanogene Conversion. So this is from The Empty Child and The Doctor Dances. Are you my mummy? Choose target creature you control. Each other creature becomes a copy of that creature until end of turn, except it isn't legendary. We've still got a few more things in here as well. Uh, makeover Montage for your commander deck. Okay, cool. Uh, and the Master Multiplied from the end of time. So even though this is a 12th and 13th Doctor set, we do have some 9th and 10th Doctor representation here now. Now, Wizards of the Coast very, very kindly sent me two of these collector boosters. So we'll open these and see what else we've got for our collection. These are Doctor Who Magic the Gathering Universe Beyond ones, and these have 15 cards each. Right, let's open up uh, these boosters then. Okay, so we have uh, Island, we have the second Doctor. Players have no maximum hand size, that's a very second Doctor ability, I imagine. Haunted Ridge, reverse the polarity, third, uh, third Doctor artwork there. Sunbaked Canyon, I think that's from Midnight. Beast Within, Rotating Fireplace from The Girl in the Fireplace, Horizon Canopy. Oh, this is from the Greatest Show in the Galaxy, if I remember correctly. Strax, Sontara Nurse, Wound Reflection, Perry Brown, and she's very shiny. Choked Estuary, this is from Gridlock. Canyon Slow, uh, so this is uh, from The Face of Evil. Canine Mark I, Cyberman Patrol, Dalek, and Island. Oh, is this the only Dalek card that I have? Now let's open up the uh, last one as well and see what we get. Mm, they still have that new card smell. Okay, so we've got Forest, the fifth Doctor. I'm very glad that I have my favorite Doctor here. Delete, Temple of Enlightenment from New Earth, uh, Mystic Monastery, Memory Worm, Leela, Seventeen Warrior, Cursed Mirror, Jenny Flint, Skycloud Expanse, Confession Dial, Grasp of Fate, Sarah Jane Smith, Rose Tyler, the third Doctor, and a shiny soldier. This one is apparently a treasure artifact. So there we go. I have no idea if those were any good, but I appreciate it nonetheless, especially getting a hold of the fifth Doctor. So that was my unboxing of Magic the Gathering Universes Beyond Paradox Power, their Doctor Who set. I'm going to put all these cards in this nice little box here. 
So folks, let me know if you're planning on picking up this Magic the Gathering set. If you're new to Magic the Gathering, please let me know. I want to hear from you. Maybe we can start learning how to play the game together. To reiterate, I have never played Magic the Gathering before, but I do want to do a few follow-up videos on this brand new deck of mine just to learn how to play the game, maybe get into it, and see if I can pick up a brand new hobby. I did used to play trading card games uh, when I was younger, things like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. Uh, but this is something that I might be able to get into thanks to Doctor Who. Either way, the artwork itself and just the amount of care and attention that has been given to just picking out the characters and the settings and the props and things like that, it really is an incredibly admirable effort. And thank you so much to Wizards of the Coast for sending me these cards. Let me know if there's a particular commander deck that you folks are wanting to pick up. There are four of these available. This one is Paradox Power, but there are other ones available to purchase now. If you want to learn more about Magic the Gathering, if you want to learn more about these Doctor Who themed commander decks, there'll be links in the description below where you can check them out. Once again, thank you so much to Wizards of the Coast for sending me this collection of cards, this commander deck. It's massively appreciated, and I shall see you folks next time.